The fin tube evaporator is more complex and more effective. A fin is a very small plate that is attached to the body of the evaporator. As you can see in this image, fin tube evaporators have a lot of fins attached to its body. At each fin, there is a transfer of heat into the evaporator coils. The more fins there are, the more heat that can be transferred. This is what makes the fin tube evaporators the most effective of them all. Since the fins are made of metal and can be sharp, we have to be careful when handling fin tube evaporators. During service, we also need to be careful because we can damage the fins since they stick out. Fin tube evaporators can have four different shapes. The shape they have depends on the space we are designing for. There are slab coils, slant coils, A coils, and N or M coils. Slab coils are shaped exactly like they sound. They do not contain as much surface area as other types of coils, so they are limited in use. Slab coils are generally used in small spaces because they can fit more easily than the other types of coils. Slant coils are shaped almost exactly like slab coils. The difference is that they are placed at a diagonal, which allows them to be longer than either the length or width of the space. This means allows for a higher cooling efficiency because there is a higher surface area for air to flow through. A coils are the most common type of coil seen in the industry. They are made of two slant coils, which almost doubles the surface area that air can flow through. This means that A coils are almost twice as effective as slant coils. Bare tube evaporators do have some advantages. They are easy to clean and easy to defrost. This makes them suitable for household refrigerators and freezers. N or M coils are sometimes called Z coils because of their orientation. They are shaped as they sound. It is believed that the third side to the coils increases efficiency because there is more surface area for the air to flow through. But these coils are subject to freeze-ups and can be hard to clean. In this module, we discussed the different types of evaporators and compared what they are used for.